Hey guys, what's going on? Jenko Sports here bringing you the second episode in our Leicester City Football Manager 2015 series. And it's that time. It's the first game of the season against Liverpool. It's not exactly going to be easy. But with the Scousers travelling to King Power Stadium, I reckon we can show them a thing or two. We've got the talent now. We made some good signings. If you've missed the first episode, be sure to go check it out before you watch this one. If you really can't be bothered to, though, here's a brief update as to what happened. We sold Andy King. We bought in Sisto, the electronic disco, and also a cheeky little man known as Dwight Gale. So we've got a nice strike force coming along as well. Expectations they can see. Fight bravely against relegation. What if we fight cowardly? What happens then? What if we just turn up to Old Trafford in a few games time, quaking in our boots with Adonami spewing out of the boxes because we're just too scared, we don't want to fight them? What happens? What do we do then? There's only one way to find out, but first, we've got a game to win against Liverpool. So the Battle of the Elves gets underway. You can see their starting 11's looking a little bit intimidating, really. Um, not too sure what to do against that but I'm sure we can think of something so the one main thing I didn't do however was actually start Dwight Gale I wanted to leave him on the bench he's on 90% fitness I thought the last thing I want really is him getting right injured or taking a knock early on because that's just great banter isn't it that is fantastic banter that's what FM does best you make a brand new signing with pretty much all of your transfer budget and he just gets injured straight away. It's like, you know, saving up your pocket money for a few weeks' time, going into a toy shop, buying yourself a brand new action man figure, taking it home, taking out the packaging, and his left arm just flies across the room. Your dog eats it. You've got to take it back for a refund, but they're shut after 4 o'clock. you got to wait till Sunday. You go there till Sunday, and they'll go, Nah, I can't exchange that. That's, uh, that's damaged. It didn't come like that, did it? And then you left £10 out of pocket with a shitty one-handed action man flopping about the house like he owns the place. As you can tell, that definitely did not happen to me as a child. But as you can probably see, this formation probably a lot more defensive than what I usually play. We've got big Jeffrey Schlup puppy on the left-hand side. De Latt there as a right-back. Cambiasso playing as centre defensive mid as opposed to playing kind of more centralised with Nick Powell. Drink water and our big man Sisto on the left with Nugent and Ujera up front. I think it's a solid start in 11. I don't really want to be starting a lot of youngsters and risky calls against Liverpool. But the message that would send to Brendan Rodgers is that we are spreading our bum cheeks wide open for Steven Gerrard to twat a few free kicks in. And we're not ready for that. We're closing our bum cheeks nice and tight. No one is getting inside our bum today. And that's probably the worst analogy. Haha, <laughs> get it? Anal analogy. Oh, me. But yeah, we move in towards Liverpool then. First game of the season. What's it going to hold? Can we overcome the odds? Can we somehow scrape a draw? A draw against Liverpool will be absolutely unreal. I'm not hoping for miracles here, but I reckon if we can score a goal or two, we might be all right. So let's find out what it holds. And here comes Moreno there. Moving the ball nicely, 12 seconds in. Hello, what has it? Sisto's first touch of the ball was like a touch out of a gymnastic Olympics competition. It was absolutely unreal. He got his leg seven foot in the air, vertical to his own skull, and twatted across back forward. That was beautiful by our new signing. So Sisto starting while his partner in crime, Dwight Gale, sits on the bench and plays a nice game of Clash of Clans on his iPhone 6 before waiting to come on just after half time. So here comes Nugent, plays through to a lower shot, blocked down. Now Sisto disco. And he couldn't quite score. And Sisto, the electronic disco ball that he got from Poundland that spins at six miles an hour, makes a whirring noise when you press it, is doing quite nicely. Drink water almost getting a shot there. Sisto blasting a free kick at the wall because he's just that hardcore. He's gone to his electronic disco, hyped up on MDMA. He absolutely loves it. Wes Morgan now on the right hand side. Cheeky little flick back there, Delat. Nick Powell pings one forward to Nugent, who had his it back up. No, that's good. Don't worry, it wasn't like a low was right next to you, was it? And now Drinkwater, edge of the box, plays it down. Powell, can we get a penalty? No, but it's blocked anyway. And now Steven Gerrard clears the ball away. And now I'm getting a bit worried because Liverpool actually have the ball. And somehow big Casper Schmeichel makes a save there. So he's doing all right, is little Casper today. He's held on nicely 26 minutes in. You can see Liverpool have had seven shots, but we haven't really seen it in terms of highlights. It's all very much been us on the attack. And just as I say that, they may just get lucky and Dumbia scores. So Liverpool break the deadlock and it's a new sign in Dumbia 
that scores on his debut. And to be fair, we're not going to stop that, are we? That's an almighty strike force up front. When you've got Balotelli, Dumbia, you've got Gerrard sitting in behind Sturridge and Sterling in the realms as well. It's just a bit too meaty for us. And um, now Jeffrey the schlup puppy plays one down Sisto. Back to his little man and lower who's somehow at the corner flag for an advance forward. That's brilliant. That's exactly where we want him to play. Don't worry about sitting in the box. Just stay at the corner flag. Sisto! Over the bar again. He's getting closer, isn't he? It's like he keeps going in for the kiss and the whale just keeps moving away and swerving and swerving. She eventually realises that it's 3.24 in the morning. She's not going to do much better and absolutely molests his face off with her tongue. The sister's first night out on the town could end with a tragic pull and a walk of shame in the morning. But we'll see it. What? Sorry? Liverpool score and it's not even a highlight. Joe Atnas offside, surely. What? For? No. What has happened here? 44 minutes. Oh, okay, now we get the highlight. I don't even get what's happened here, but Balotelli's played one down to Joe Allen. He's... What? It doesn't even show you the full goal. Is FM just trying to banter me off right now? Casper Schmeichel's standing there. We've got Dwight Gale playing Flappy Bird, and I'm watching the stats screen. Meanwhile, Football Manager just decides to have a bit of... <laughs> That's banter. Better. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. I thought he was going to banter me off there. Cheers. Imagine how banter that would be now. <laughs> so basically, football manager's going, cheers, mate. I thought you were going to banter me off there. And actually banter me off a little bit tune it up. I don't know how or what scenario that's ever happened before. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen anything even remotely close to that. But that has literally bantered me off. And Sisto, he scored on his debut. <laughs> The man who we signed on an absolute bargain transfer fee has now scored on his debut. That is absolutely centered, a sensational. Sen 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 I can't believe it. So, Sisto, what an acquisition. What a signing that man is. We bring on Dwight Gale and a lowers offside in the 64th minute. So, not good news. But we've got a fighting chance here at snatching a point. It's the 89th minute, which means one thing. Last chance. Salute! Get your head on it, boys. Dwight Gale. Oh, he's gone over. And Gale had a chance there to tie the game up and snatch a point away from Liverpool. And he couldn't quite do it. He's got so close to ejaculating and realised he's got a vagina. And it's all gone wrong. And Ree, that's probably a good decision. Thank you, Ree. I thought we were going to give away a penalty there. So full time, we lose 2-1 to Liverpool. In retrospect, it's not that bad a result. When you take a look at the side we put out, the formation, which is quite really outside my comfort zone. To only concede two against Liverpool with a side that are looking really strong. They weren't exactly going easy on us. It's a good result. I mean, Sisto scored. There's you know, signs of promise there. Dwight Gale almost scored. So there's a little bit of promise there. But we move on to face a much easier team. Chelsea. That's what you want. That is a great... Great way to start the season. Liverpool and Chelsea, we are first two games. We are definitely going to get a result out of these two. We are more than, more than definitely going to get a couple of points and snatch a 3-0 win over Chelsea. Obviously not! But yeah, we're at the end of the episode now. So if you're new to the Kebab Nation, stick around, hit the subscribe button. If you like the episode, try and get this video to 15 likes to help me out so much. If you genuinely do watch my content, then please hit that little blue thumb. Not the one that's going down, because that, that means you don't like it. So hit the right one. And I'll see you tomorrow.